And uh, all of us have devices, all of us have our, our nice little packages. Uh, so you can actually read about Matt Hearn and all the different number of things that he's done um, by just typing them up in Wikipedia. You'll get a really good kind of uh, shot on them. Uh, so I wanted to give a more personalized thing. I met uh, Matt, I think it was in, in 2007, um, and uh, it was relatively random. It was a cold email from Matt. I think he had read some of the stuff that I had written uh, it, with respect to affordability and eco-density in a, a critique that I had done at the time. And, uh, you know, his email was relatively Matt Hearn-esque. It was super short, succinct, to the point. Hi, uh, my name's Matt. Uh, I'm writing a book, and that was going to be uh, Common Ground in a Liquid City at the time. That was going to be, I guess, published two years later uh, in defense of, the, uh, of an urban future. Uh, and I had no idea what to expect. Uh, and that's where my introduction is going to be about, is that this whole thing of me meeting Matt Hearn, with your permission, Matt. So uh, I wound up going, and uh, it was one of those things that I actually didn't have time to do a little background check on him. So little did I know that he had anything to do with Car Free Day Vancouver. I, I knew nothing about that, which had happened two years before, um, and that would eventually lead to Car Free Bank, uh, Car Free first commercial drive, then Car Free Vancouver in 2008. Uh, so I went in there cold, and, and what did I see? It was at a little uh, coffee shop uh, on East Side off Commercial Drive, uh, and. It, it was counter to everything I had expected. I had, I had been going and I had been teaching and uh, notwithstanding the, the wonderful company here, uh, I saw someone who came in with kind of ripped jeans, this kind of tattered, tattered uh, t-shirt, uh, bald head like me. Uh, so we had a, an instant bond there, I think. Uh, and, uh, and sure enough, he sits down and he starts uh, kind of rattling off what he was doing. Uh, swearing of all sorts, he was just cussing everywhere, and I was like, whoa, who is this guy? Uh, and sure enough, it's Matt Hearn, uh, who you're going to see like that. One of the things that I began to appreciate at that point is how kind of counter to what we would expect uh, someone of his stature would be, someone who teaches uh, at a number of different schools, University of, uh, of British Columbia, obviously here in SCARP, uh, SFU, all over the place, uh, has written a series of books, uh, one of the newest ones coming out in August, if I'm not mistaken, uh, What's the City For?, looking at, uh, uh, at uh, the uh, dispersal of uh, uh, Portland's uh, black community. Um, but how unassuming he is, uh, in many ways, how extremely intelligent he is, uh, at the same time, and also, and I think what's, what's uh, I think the most powerful thing to me uh, is how genuine he is in all the stuff that he does, whether it's uh, working with uh, gang, uh, local youth, uh, local gang, refugees, immigrants, all the stuff that you're going to, I'm sure, be uh, listening to in the next few minutes, um, and also something that I respect extremely, extremely uh, about uh, Matt Hearn is that he's not scared to ruffle a few feathers uh, and uh, I'm sure that he's gonna hopefully treat us to some ruffling a little bit uh, in a few mo in a few moments here um, so without further ado Mr. Matt Hearn 